Uh, so welcome to our uh, last lecture of this class. So finally, we have reached our last lecture. So uh, today we will talk about uh, date visualization. And also I have another class that is I342. Uh, so that is talking that is date visualization. So we will spend an entire semester semester talking about date visualization in that class. So this class just give you a quick uh, review that uh, the basic um, charts and also how we can create some very simple data visualizations uh, in Python. We already talked about um, this Python library, so that is probably the the wide the, the one of the most widely used Python library that for creating static and also animated and also interactive visualizations in Python. So you can find out a lot of uh, images and also examples from this website. So you can see here are some examples like uh, we can use Matplotlab to create a bar chart, um, box plot, uh, and also pie chart. So it is a very powerful and also um, relatively easy to use Python library. All right, uh, so let's talk about some basics. So Matplotlab uh, has a module called pyplot. So that is a collection of those most common style functions that will make this one like the Matlab. So if you are familiar with Matlab, you will see that, OK, so those visualizations are pretty much look like the same. It has a plot function. So this function is very versatile. So it can take different type of the inputs and also depending on the inputs and also depending on how you set the visualizations, they will generate uh, the visual visualization for you. You can also call it show function. So that will uh, display the visualization in Python. Uh, for notebook, for Jupyter notebook, so we will use it magic command so that only work in notebook that can tell Python that we want to display the visualization within the notebook. So you know we know that in a notebook so you can write the comments and if you write this magic comments and you can see all visualizations within your notebook. So if you are using a cloud nine editor so we will we will use this run this comments and if you run this show function it will pop up a new window normally and to show the visualization that you created. OK, so let's see an example that in Python first. Uh, so let's go to SageMaker. And uh, let's start our instance. OK, so let's make that as to start. And while this is loading, so I just also want to remind you that uh, in our S3 bucket, and we have the data that is called uh, house price. Okay, so that is from our last lab. So in today's lecture, we are going to use this house price again so that uh, to visualize some data. So in the previous labs, we created some, calculate some statistics in Python, and this this class we will create visualizations and hopefully you will see that by creating visualizations so it is easier and also more straightforward to see the patterns or to understand your data okay uh, so now it is ready so as we always always did so let's first um, update our local repository so that we want to make sure that our local repository has the same version as the GitHub repository. OK, so let's go to Git and also do a pull. OK, and now let's open our notebook. And today this is our last lecture. So that is uh, lecture um, 13. OK. So LEC 13. All right. 
Okay, so let's try to create some visualizations. So first, uh, let's run that magic command, and you just need to run this one uh, one more one time. Okay, uh, so just run it once in this notebook, and that's it. So and starting from there, so all the following uh, visualizations will be displayed within the notebook. And next, let's import the Python library. So that is matplotlib.py plot. And normally, we, we, we import that one as plt for short. So also, it's a convention that we use plt. So if you read the other uh, Python code, m-a-t-p-l-o-t-l-i-b, OK. So if you read some other Python code that are using PLT, and that is highly likely that uh, they are using the matplotlib. Okay, yeah, and also matplotlib should be installed uh, by default. Okay, so now let's create a line chart. So let's say plot dot plot, and and this is a very um, versatile uh, function. So depending on the data you provided, so let's say. Uh, they can create different visualizations. So let's say we, we provide um, a list and also let's create another list. 1, 4, 9, 16. Okay. And let's give it a title. Okay, so this is our title. Let's give it a label, so that's x, label, y, label, so that is y. OK, and now we can use that plt.show function to invoke that visualization. So um, in notebook, it will be displayed beneath this cell. And if you are using other Python editors, so you may see a new window that pop up. OK, but personally, I, I prefer uh, seeing this in the cell because um, we can see that directly within the notebook. OK, and actually in, in Pandas data frame, they also has this plot function. And you may feel like that is a separate or independent um, method. Actually, this plot function actually is calling this plot dot plot function. So, uh, Pandas is actually using the matplotlib. And for the data frame, plot is a convenient way, way that we can visualize our data that with for all the columns and also for all the labels. OK, so let's see one example that in Pandas. OK, um, so let's say first, let's import Pandas. And let's load the, our data that uh, from our S3 bucket. So here, let's find out this house price data and also copy the URI. We say date frame equals pandas dot read Excel files. OK. Now let's see this date frame. So. So here we are loading the house price from the S3 bucket into our local notebook. And we can see here we have price, number, bedroom, bathroom, house type, lot size, etc. So now we can call the plot function directly within this data frame. So let's say plot uh, here x equals built in. OK. So in, in, the, in this new chart, x will be the built-in, and y equals price. OK, so we will show the y to show the price. And now if we run it directly, OK, and you can see that we have this uh, very interesting data. OK, so that does not look like um, uh, in our uh, slide. OK, so that is because I didn't sort the data. OK, that is because I didn't sort the data. So if I sort the value, so that is 
data frame dot sort values by okay and that is by equals let's say we sort by year of the house being built built in okay so now if i run it so now you can see this is more uh is a chart that is making more sense because previously we didn't sort the data so if we don't sort the um the year data okay so it's it's like a mess however if we now sort the data so now the line chart will make more sense